Hey designer, Alex here, welcome to the channel and in today's quick video I'm going to show you how you can add some spice to your buttons by simply adding some nice and quick animations. So we have a send message button right here and when a user clicks it, you can see a success changes from send message and this nice sh glow or shine goes across the button and button itself changes color. So if I switch back one more time and click on it, you can see how that looks like. So let's get started. All right, so to get started, I have an artboard of 500 by 500 and I'll choose my rectangle tool to create my button. You can drag a rectangle like so and I'll choose 225 for the width and 70 for the height. And let's go ahead and choose 50 for the corner radius to make that button nice and round. I'll position it to the center like so. And I will remove the border and for the fill I will choose 3EC6FF which is this nice blue color. Now for the text let's use Open Sans and let's use a regular at a size of 20. So let's type in send message. I'll select that text and make it center like so. Then I will select it and a button using my shift key and position it to the center like this. I'll call this BTN and it's really important that you name your messages, especially if you want to create some animations, because especially if you are using auto animate feature, it's really important that your layers are properly named. So let's jump inside and for the send message text, let's choose white like so. Let's change it to be open sense like this and I will reposition it one more time because I did change the font. Now. I will duplicate this text, so hit Ctrl D, I'll hide this one, and here I'll type in success. An exclamation point like this. I'll make sure it's centered as well, like that. And right now I need a copy of this button, but let's let's deal with the text first. So what I'm going to do actually is create a mask. So I'll choose a rectangle tool like this and I'll position my mask like this, for example. I'll call this mask. You can go ahead and remove the border if you want, but it's really up to you. Then you can select all of them and hit shift Control m or shift Command m if you're on Mac. I'll call this mask. And then for this first state, once the user has not clicked yet, I will move the success text out of the way. So when I click outside, you can see it's masking nicely. So that's basically it for the text part. You can group all of this together and call this button or BTN, however you want. And now let's create a reflection. And what I can do is go ahead and duplicate this button. So hit control D and move it outside of my group like so. And that's going to be our mask. And for the reflection, what you can do is simply draw a nice big rectangle like so, for example, and you can ro rotate it just a little bit. So for example, something like this, maybe, maybe you can make it wider or uh, narrower like this. And I'll just go ahead and make it, for example, like this. I'll remove the border and I'll call this a reflection like so. And I will jump inside and hit shift control M one more time so that I can group them. And what's really important is uh, if you don't want to make a mistake like I did to position the button on top because uh, the button is going to mask the reflection itself. So shift command M one more time or shift control M however you want. And I'll call it mask. And now you can see that we have this nice reflection so that I can move it, for example, to here. And that's going to be our first state. So that's basically it for this one. And I'll jump inside and hit component. And I want to create my components because uh, this is the first state. And in the second state, it's going to change the color and it's going to change to success. So let's do this right now. So the easiest way to do this is to jump inside and put this mask inside. I'll call it reflection mask. Just because we have two masks and we need to know which one is which. 
and I will jump ahead and create a component from my button. You can use a shortcut control or command K, however you want. So this is the default state of our button and we need to create a new state and we are going to call this one clicked because it's going to appear clicked when user has tapped on it. So I will open it up, make sure it's on clicked because we are now going to make some changes. So first things first, we are going to move the success text right here in the center and we are going to move send message out of the way. Next up, we are going to change the color of our button. So I'm going to use nice green button to indicate the success. So 55D466, for example, and you can press enter or return. And finally, for the reflection mask, we are going to move the reflection from left to right. And I'm going to simply select it like so. So that's basically it for your button. So this is the default state. This is the clicked state, as you can see. And if this green looks uh, a bit too strong, you can always jump inside and reduce it just a little bit. So I'm going to do that right now, just a little bit so that we can see the text a little bit better. And finally, what you need to do is hit prototype and simply drag this right here. So you don't have to drag it anywhere outside. You can simply click and that's basically going to be it. So when you hit preview and click right here, it's going to preview that state, but you have to animate it first. So for the trigger, we are going to use tap. For the transition, we are going to use auto animate. For the destination, choose a state. So we're going to choose clicked. You can choose ease in out, for example, for this one. And for the duration, 0.3 seconds is just fine. So once again, when you hit preview, click right here, you can see how that looks like. If you think that this is too fast, then you can jump ahead and extend the length of your transition. So we are now at 0.3, maybe we can use 0.6 and see how that looks like. So when you click, you can see it looks much better. So I really hope you liked this tutorial. If you did, make sure to press that like button. I upload new videos every single week on design, passive income techniques, motivation and more. So if you don't want to miss that, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.